uh, see uh, this is the transition period for every library because the librarian used to work mostly on print based library uh, suppose uh, acquiring the books subscription of journal and their processing issuing returning document delivery service hdi service current arrival service all these things that were done in in physical form okay manually when the computer comes then the automation started library automation this all the housekeeping works of the library like circulation cataloging classification serial controls then um, stock taking all these things done by computer so automation has come so librarian people they have learned how to use automation software and they have learned and they have successfully done the automation work in the library after that 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 uh, electronic resource electronic journal electronic books electronic access all these this thing have come so again the librarian people they have learned this thing and this is the situation now the each and every librarian they must know the online access online preservation and then digitization of the content which are available in their own libraries digitization are two types one is that born digitals because nowadays whatever content are generated it is digitally born but there are a lot of resources which are acquired by the library which are in print base so some books are rare books some are copyright out books so those books are not in good shape so librarian needs to digitize those content and they have to create the metadata of that digitized content so when they digitize then all and then they have to set up their idea in their institutions in the library because after the digitizations those content has to be uploaded in the ideas because it will two aspect one is digital preservation and one is online access so the librarian's role now it is so more in digital form rather than the print form so every librarian they have to know the digitization work online access digital preservation and then digital service so this is the change happens the few years and what is the vision for library this national digital library because once you set up idea in your own institutions and then uploading the content generated by your own faculty staff research scholar students which are born digital that is to be up uploading into the idea and those which are digitized creating the metadata and uploading so now this content should be accessible globally so this is the good platform in national digital library where the institution will integrate that suppose i am working in some particular library okay by university library so those those libraries idea should be integrated to ndl so that the content which are available in a particular library that should be accessible globally so when you access the content which are which are located in particular area, particular library so many people will be knowing many people will be accessing and many people will be will will need this information while they are doing some research work or writing some article so they will give the references from where they will get the information so they will naturally give the name of that particular institute from institution idea from there they got the information so that the institution <coughs> visibility will increase as well as the the person who written the paper the person who write the thesis or create the content so those person name will also be visible globally that's why i'm telling that what is the importance of the national digital library because when the institution we have the content they will set up their ideas uploading the content indexing the content so this idea will integrate with the national digital library and national digital library will be accessible globally so all the people will have access and they are integrating all the institutions idea and then indexing all the contents what they have harvested from different institution so that all the content will be in one place so they the national digital library objective that they will give a single window access facility the national digital library so far there are lot of various type of content 
content for school, content for uh, higher education, postgraduate, undergraduate, and even the research scholar and lifelong learner. So, different type of contents are there. So, definitely once the institution's idea will integrate with NDL server, it will be uh, useful not only for the, the institutions which in content is integrated, but also the national digital library. So, there is a, a good future for national digital library and if the national library will be able to integrate all the institutions idea, university ideas, college ideas, research institution ideas. So, there will be a, a enormous content. So, all the people of India, they will be benefited. So far, um, there are many universities, they are offering the library science courses. It is a two year integrated course called master degree in library and information science. The most of the university they have, they have upgraded or updated the syllabus because of changing, because the, uh, the syllabus which they have, those syllabus are backdated because of lot of changes happening last few years. So, most of the university they have in updated their uh, syllabus so that all the current topic can be accommodated and they have accommodated. So, the interested uh, students, interested uh, means person, they can take admission in any university for library science course. There is also one organization called DRTC, Documentation Research and Training Organization. It is under Indian Statistical Institute in Bangalore. They are also offering a special type of library science courses with all modernization, all computerized database, big data, interoperability. So, all related to the technology, library and technology. So, these institutions is offering the courses and in near future, so far what, what I have heard that IIT Kharagpur is also planning to start with the certificate course for librarian of modern technology, the current technology for which the librarian will be enriched to know how to do the things for digitization age. So, once the certificate course will be successful, then in the later stage, there may be an undergraduate course or postgraduate course in the library and information science in IIT Kharagpur. This is a plan. So, um, I hope IITs should have the library science course because library science and then computer science, if it is merged together, then uh, really a librarian job will be successful. Because nowadays, most of the things are being done in computer, computerized. All the purchase, all the subscription, all things are, are on computer based. So, it is a high time and it is a need that each and every librarian should be trained to cope up the modern you know, uh, means, uh, changes. Unless and unless they train, it will be very difficult for librarian to, you know, uh, to give the best service to their institutions. And many organizations are offering the short term courses, workshop on modern technology, workshop on uh, open source software, workshop on ideas setup. So, hopefully, I hope that in near future other IITs also will have a plan to open a such type of courses so that librarian and the new person, new student can, can be interested to take the admission of this type of courses and they will be, a, they, will, they, will, they will get a job in library science field. Once they will get a job in library, library science field, I hope their future will be very bright. Actually, that when this, this project started, I personally uh, involved from day one for this project because I received a phone call from our director that you have to write a project on e-libraries, the initial stages. So, we have written the draft and then director means proceed further. Then there are many computer science people, then uh, center for education technology faculty, they have joined. And when we have started the, digit, uh, the national digital work before sanction the ministry. We have already designed it. We have not received any sanction order. We have not received any firm fund, but we have started. We have shown the ministry that this is the thing we have done. So, when they have seen that without 
giving fund without giving sanction the IIT Kharagpur library has done this much. So, they are very impressed after seeing uh, viewing this the font and the access, the content, these are the things possible to access, how to integrate it. There are a lot of different type of content, there are different type of searches, there are different type of filterization. So, after seeing all these things, facilities and access, so they are very happy and then when I got the information that uh, this NDL, uh, the project has been approved by the government of India and that this much fund is given. So, that moment was really very, very happy for all of us. And now the National Digital Library will have lot of content, it's more than 10 million content. And then in gradually content will be increased. There is a discussion going on that the national licensing of the publisher content. So, once the national license content will be available through NDL, it will be definitely very much useful for all of us, all the students, for all the university and institutions. And it needs the awareness building because so far whatever content we have that is a that is a enormous content that should be used by the people of India. So, for which we need a awareness program. So, for which I need uh, I think this NDL has a plan that in the next phase we will have user awareness program. We will go to the universities, we will go to the institutions and then we will tell about NDL what are the contents are there, how to access, how to search, what are the different type of search, what is advanced search. So, all sort of things we will go and then we will display, we will show and then uh, we will explain these are the contents are there, these are the facilities are there and you should access if they have a problem, they can communicate with us, we can help them. So, these are, these are the way to build up the awareness program. So, awareness is very important because unless and until you know the, the URL of that particular facility or national digital library access. So, it will not, it will be not be useful. So, everybody should know. So, there is the way to inform the people of different university, different institutions. So, this is the site available, these are the content available. So, uh, I hope through this user education program, this will be more popular. And also there are a lot of challenges in national digital in coming future. So, the next phase there are a lot of research work will be going on, lot of new apps will be designed, there will be lot of software will be designed. So, hi, I hope that in near future digital library will, will be the only one single point to access for all educational content for all the students, all the users of India.